so hi everyone welcome back to the channel we are back with yet another video on problem of the day so the problem is leftmost and rightmost nodes of a binary tree so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a binary tree of size n print the corner nodes that is the nodes at the top leftmost and rightmost of each level okay so for example this is a binary tree so the nodes at level 1 is 1 so we print 1 the nodes at level 2 is going to be 2 and 3 so the leftmost node is 2 and the rightmost node is 3 so we print 2 and 3 so the output is containing 2 and 3 similarly the nodes at level 3 are 4 5 6 and 7 so we print 4 and 7 so 4 because 4 and 7 are the leftmost and rightmost nodes of the binary tree so i hope you have understood the problem the expected time complexity for this is order of n and the expected auxiliary space is order of number of nodes in a level. So I hope you have understood the problem. Let's discuss the solution. So here my binary tree is like this. So what we need to do here is that we need to travel the binary tree level wise. So it will be a basically level order traversal. So what we do in a level order traversal, we we traverse the tree in a level wise manner for that we need a queue okay so first of all we will be pushing the first node which is the root node of the tree so one will be pushed now what we will do we will do a iteration till the size of the queue so here size of queue is going to be one so i need to process that number of nodes right so at every step you will be knowing about the size of the queue so that much number of process we need to do so here the here we have we are having one so what we will do we will be having a answer vector as well okay what it will store it will store the array basically the nodes at each and every level so the zeroth index will contain the nodes at zeroth level the first index is going to contain the nodes at the first level okay now for one what we need to do we will be taking a temporary vector okay in the temporary vector vector what we will do we will store one okay now we will check if one has left node yes it has so we will push the two in the queue and we'll push three in the queue because three is the right child cool now one is deleted from my queue and my temporary answer is going to be containing one now since we have exhausted for the level one we will push this in our answer vector so now our answer vector will contain one at the first level okay so this is my answer vector so it will be containing one at the first level cool now the queue size is two so we need to do two operations now first of all you will be taking the front of the node and my temporary vector will be containing 2 right now we will check if 2 has left subtree yes it has we will check if 2 has right subtree yes it has so we will push 4 and 5 here and 2 will be popped out of our queue so 2 is popped out we will be having 2 in the temporary answer now we will check for the other node so 3 is there we will simply push 3 in our temporary node and we will check if 3 has a left node if 3 has a right node yes it has so we will push 6 and 7 here okay in the queue so 6 and 7 will be pushed now we will be done with the two process okay so we will push this temporary in our answer so answer at index 1 will be containing 2 and 3 similarly for 4 what we will do we will first of all push 4 in our temporary vector okay since 4 has no left child and no right child so no need to push anything in the queue okay now we will take out 5 from the queue and push it in our temporary vector we will similarly check for the left and the right subtree there is no left and right subtree for 5 so we will not push anything in our queue we will simply push that 5 in the temporary answer similarly for 6 and 7 and 
when we will be exhausted with the number of nodes at that moment of the queue we will stop okay so 4 5 6 7 will be pushed at the index 1 of our answer vector cool so i hope you have understood the approach so what we need to do here now we need to print the leftmost and rightmost nodes of the binary tree so for the level one we are having only one node so we will be doing nothing but just print this for the level two we will be printing this 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 for level three as well okay so in the end our answer is going to be one two three four and seven okay so let's say if you take some other node as well let's say 10 20 30 so this is the example of second tree 40 and 50 so in this case our answer is going to be 10 20 30 40 and 50 why because in the level 3 we will be having 40 and 50 so we will print both of them okay so i hope you have understood the problem so at max it taking it is taking the time of order of n because at max n number of nodes will be processed so at max whatever be the number of nodes in a level that is going to be contained in our queue for example for the last level 4 5 6 7 is going to be contained in the queue so our queue dot size is going to be nothing but the number of nodes in a level so that is going to be the expected auxiliary space okay so i hope you have got the time and space complexity for this problem let's discuss the code so we have taken a queue which will be a type of node star we will be pushing the root now we will be taking an answer vector because we need to store the uh, nodes data at each and every level okay while my queue is not empty first of all we will be taking the size of the queue so it will denote how much process we need to do after that we will be taking a temporary vector we will be iterating it every time you get a node let's say the front node we will check if the left of the front node exists yes if it exists we will be pushing it in the queue if the right node exists we will be pushing it in our queue again okay and in the end our temporary vector will be containing the front nodes data and when we will exhaust this we will simply push back our temporary vector into our answer and finally we can iterate on the answer vector and if our answer dot size is equal to one which uh, in that case we will be printing that element otherwise we will be printing the first element okay and we will be printing the last element so i hope you have understood the problem so i hope ye samajh mein aa gaya hoga hai na agar acha laga ho video agar sabko samajh mein aa gaya ho to is video ko like karna and comment your doubts if any okay and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more such videos